Hey everybody, it's Timmy Gibson here to give a few thoughts about how to handle rejection. Have you ever been rejected? I have. Everyone has. It's something that you cannot escape unless, I guess, you live in a van down by the river alone. But if you're in the dating world, like myself, it's inevitable. You're going to be rejected. You're going to be ghosted. You're going to be stood up. You're going to be hurt. You're going to be broke up with, right? So something that I've heard a lot, I've heard this a lot, enough that I'm doing this video because I've heard it enough that I think, man, this is something that, that needs to be shared. And that is literally how to handle rejection. So I'm a big believer in being kind and courteous and respectful. Um, in fact, I believe it to the point of even if someone is not kind or not respectful to me as much as possible, I still try to return um, kindness and respectfulness or whatever. So that's just how I was raised. So in the dating world, of course, right? I, I've, I've been stood up. I've been ghosted. I've been rejected, right? Just as I have, unfortunately, maybe I've ghosted someone, um, which we can, I, I'll do another. Matter of fact, maybe I'll include that. Like, what is ghosting? You know, I, I have people ask me that all the time, you know. Like, what do you think ghosting is? To me, you can't be ghosted or ghost someone if you've never met them in person. Um, of course, in my mind, I'm like, okay, there's exceptions to that rule, right? If, you're, if you've are if you been talking to someone for months and months and months and months, which, you know, what the hell are you talking to someone for months and months and months for without meeting them? I would never do that. I would never talk to someone that often. And that freak, I wouldn't waste my time um, unless they were overseas and I'd already met them before. And, the, you know, like if it's a long distance thing, I'm, I'm not, I'm talking about if you've never, ever met someone and you're only communicating through a dating app or even text, hail to the no, uh, at bare minimum, we're going to do a FaceTime and, and see each other. There's no way I'm going to continue to, to text someone. Uh, online. Anyway, so, okay, ghosting. Let me just quickly say this before I get into how to handle rejection. Ghosting is something that you really can't do or you can't really be ghosted or ghost someone if you've if you've just been chatting online. You know, I think that's just a part of it. You're chatting with someone and you lose interest in it, whatever. You don't need to like break up like, hey, I know we've exchanged a few texts now, but I'm going to need to reject you so you don't feel like I've ghosted you. I think we need to tough it up. I mean, if you're talking to someone and they disappear, say la vie, move on. Who cares, right? Okay, so, but if you've met someone in person and, and it's going well, and especially if you've been intimate, like you owe that person. And again, I'm not in favor of the text breakup thing. Uh, I think you you owe the person an in, like, ideally in person. If you've been hanging out, you've been intimate, you need to have a sit-down coffee and say, hey, it's just not really working. I'm not feeling it. The second down would be a phone call or a FaceTime, and the very last would be like a text, a breakup text. I'm not in favor of that. I think that seems kind of wimpy. I think that if you've been intimate with someone, you owe them a sit-down, hey, listen, it ain't working, and I just wanted to tell you to your face. I'd like to be friends if you're down for that, but if you're not, no harm, no foul, right? It's all good. Okay, so that's my thought on on ghosting. Now, quickly, how to handle rejection. I've heard stories of guys and girls. I've heard, you know, girls reject guys and the guy gets brutal, gets like attacks, you know? Well, you're just a piece of, I didn't care. Like what? Like what kind of fucking dude does that? A piece of shit dude does that. If you get rejected, man, take it with grace and don't burn a fucking bridge because people know people. 
And it's not just because you don't want to burn a bridge or shit, <laughs> because you don't want to burn a bridge or just because, um, you know, you're trying to, uh, save your reputation. I, though, the, you know, on one hand, that's not a bad idea, but like, I think it should be sincere. Uh, and when you get rejected, just be like understanding and gracious, just as you would want someone to be understanding and gracious if you broke up. I just can't tell you how many times, you know, I work as a date coach, a relationship coach, and, you know, I'm a single dude dating and, and interacting with different people. I, 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 you know, I've rejected girls and I've been rejected, okay? And I've had women uh, that I've rejected uh, become great friends. I'm super close and we're friends with them. You know, I'm friends with them. Uh, I've also had a couple women that I rejected and they got nasty. They got nasty. <laughs> you know, nasty. I don't even want to tell you some of the shit that they said. Just, just. It's like because they got hurt, they want to hurt you. And that's sad. I, I think that, you know, clearly when a, when a woman responds to, to responds that way, one, I'll be honest with you, I'm like, man, thank God I didn't get wrapped up with that psycho. I mean, honestly, right? Because their true colors are coming out. Just because you told, hey, told them that, hey, it really wasn't a fit or I'm not really feeling it or you know, I feel like let's just be friends and they attack you, that's a shitty person. And, and, and thank God or thank the universe or thank Mother Earth, thank the moon, whatever, whatever your deal is, thank God you didn't end up with them because that's fucking crazy. So be glad if they freak out. But I'm not talking about you know, you've rejected someone and how they've responded to you because all you are in charge of and all I'm in charge of is ourselves. We can't control how other people people respond or what they do. All you can do is respond and, and you know, how you respond. All, we're only in charge of ourselves. So how to handle rejection? Handle, I, listen, it hurts, of course. No one likes to be rejected. No one likes to be turned down. But don't be a shitty motherfucker because of it. Be gracious, be respectful, and be kind. You know, it's that age-old thing that my mom taught me, maybe your mom or somebody taught you, if you don't have anything good to say or nice to say, don't say anything at all. I really believe that. So when someone rejects you, handle it with grace, be, be respectful, and just because you're hurt, don't attack them, okay? Handle it with grace, and I'm telling you, it, you want to put grace out into the universe. You really do. I actually had a girl that I, a woman, I say girl all the time and I get hackled by it, from, by it because of it. It's just my vernacular. I say guys and girls. So that's how I talk. So anyway, women. So when I've got out with women and just didn't connect with them in the way that I really wanted or felt like was necessary to continue, um, you know, I gracefully, kindly reject them, I guess, so to speak, and they've graciously received it and we've become friends. I've had, I've had a few of those women introduce me to women. And so, yeah, I mean, you know, and I'm not doing it for that reason, but it just happened to work out that way that I handle it with grace and kindness. And so I, I got a five-star review from them because of that, therefore, when they had someone that they knew that was single also, they thought of me. So, guys, girls, you know, handle handle breakups and, and rejection with grace and kindness. And I'm telling you, it'll go far in helping you, ultimately leading you to the your, your partner, your person, your mate, your spouse, your future love, your forever. Uh, if you if you handle things with grace and kindness, I'm telling you, it pays off for sure. All right, guys. See you soon. Peace.